Daryl, tell me, I mean, what, what do you think this thing is? Well, there's, <laughs> there's lots of speculation about this discovery. Um, I, we have since uh, changed our idea. We believe that possibly may have discovered uh, what may be an ancient civilization. Uh, it's roughly 290 feet under the water. Uh, there was, uh, as you said, uh, linear projectiles out of a seawall. Uh, and then when it, the linear projectiles were out of the seawall coming this direction with a strong current, and we couldn't figure out how a linear projectile could be um, sticking out that long when you have a current that goes about eight to 10 knots constant. Mm. If it was a natural growth, then it would have bent or broke. Uh, and we did a further investigation. The group that I work with did a further investigation. And up on the plateau of that seawall, there seemed to have been what appeared to be um, foundations to buildings, roads, but ancient, uh, really old. There was formations there because Mother Nature doesn't do right angles. So we're still investigating this. Is um, there a way to like, uh, and forgive me, I, I don't know much about this stuff. Maybe this is a dumb question, but is there a way to like cut into it to see what, what it's made of to make sure it's not coral or something like that? I think uh, the the guys there did a little bit of that, and they weren't able to assess exactly what the material was made of. Um, but our best guesstimate um, is that it's probably more an ancient civilization. This is 290 feet under the water. Given that and how much the water's risen uh, in that amount of time, this would take it back to 16 to 20,000 years ago. If there was a civilization, that would be the time frame in which this would have existed above sea level. Um, there was a little bit of confusion. There was a lot of people that were speculating, oh, maybe they found a UFO well, or a USO. Yeah. And, you know, there was a lot of speculation about that. But, you know, how things get taken out of context. Uh, I've tried to explain to most people who ask me the question, well, I, we're not necessarily uh, believing that it's a USO or a, a, an unidentified flying object that sank underwater. We're more apt to believe that there may be an ancient civilization. And there's yeah, lots listen, of Daryl, if, if you guys figure it out, I mean, will you come back on and let us know exactly what it is? Because it, it's fascinating. I mean, if, if, there, if there's a determination. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'd, I'd be willing to share the story. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.